Hi, this is Kat for Blue Sky and Tamales and today we are in the beautiful city of Lima. Today is 4th of March, the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure about the Fahrenheit, I'm afraid. The time is 2.15 p.m. and it's kind of hot. You can see that there are, there's, it's a little bit foggy but actually it's, it's pretty hot. We are by the beach and we are going to walk from Parque Grau Miraflores, which is this one, along Avenida Jose Prado, no Pardo, Pardo, Jose Pardo, to Avenida Arequipa. I wanted to show you this uh, Avenue Jose Pardo because it's, it's really beautiful to walk like in the middle of, of the avenue. Like, the walking area is really pleasant. There are so many trees and I enjoyed my walk all the way here. There are also so many, what I would say, I would guess, um, residential buildings. There are some really beautiful and there are, there are others um, not so much, uh, not so beautiful, let's call it that way. Um, Today is my fifth day, fifth. <laughs> Today is my fifth day in Lima, and to be honest, I have walked a lot. I really like to walk the cities and you know explore. And in this case, I didn't want to make like a first impression video because <laughs> I like to observe first and see you know all the, the details of the buildings and the city and the landscape, you know. And then, after I know a little bit, I like to record a video. <laughs> I just had a mango smoothie. It was really tasty. Um, just to get some energy and keep making videos I have to be very careful when crossing the street here because even though there are uh, <laughs> traffic signs and traffic lights and all of that uh, you can still get hit by a car I would say traffic culture is not so great here just like in Mexico City so uh, you should always be careful when crossing the streets. Here is still summer in this like part of the world, and I like how people are enjoying the public spaces and just taking some time and have their lunch, like on the parks and at the parks, at the parks. I think that's the the preposition I have to use. <laughs> Let me know in the comment sections what you think about this avenue. Are there similar avenues in your city? I will probably make like two parts of this video because otherwise it's going to be a very long video. So let's have like two or maybe possibly three parts. Okay, I think I can cross now. Yep. I like this like little like like parks and little spaces you know. it's not like a, like a fully like park it's more like a runabout but the space is well used for people to sit and there is a water feature I think there should be more like these kind of spaces in the city There are so many trees and it feels so fresh. I found interesting that uh, the, 
landscape design of this linear park let's call it yeah linear park has these uh, very interesting and colorful flowers um, I don't know the name of it but it's very unusual to find flowers in these colors like all together like that and and the same type type I was reading about the city of Lima and apparently is the only capital city in America, you know, the continent that has a beach front that is connected to the sea, directly to the sea. I was reading also that... Um, <laughs> wait, I forgot. Uh, Oh yeah, I was reading also that the population of Peru, of the whole country, is 40, about 45 million people and about 10 million people live in the city of Lima. So it's like highly dense, highly populated um, and I would, I mean, I'm just gonna guess by looking, you know, like at, at the buildings and at, you know, the, the neighborhoods I've been to and for me it seems like more dense than Mexico City. Mexico City is a is spread, you know. It's like the the ter like the territory is just like massive, and here it, it seems more like like high density. There are a lot of uh, tall uh, apartment buildings but also a great amount of public spaces which in my point of view it just makes life so much better like gives a higher quality of life um, let me know in the comment sections what you think about <laughs> these um, words I'm saying, if you agree with me, if you disagree, why? I would like to hear your insights. I'm really, really, really hot right now. Um, one thing that I've noticed about this building, the one here, when I was walking uh, towards the sea, I noticed that the facade is not all like smooth, let's call it that way. And it has so many, it's like very imperfect. And I think that makes the facade to collect a lot of dust. Like, because if you compare, for example, this building with the building over here, like it doesn't have as much dust in the facade as this one or as the ones right next to it. So a good finish in the facade will also have an impact on how dirty <laughs> the building is, I think. Also, I've seen these like really beautiful butterflies. I think they're like the Monarca butterflies. I'm not sure, but they look a lot alike. I just couldn't. Uh, 
I was just trying to get these little thingies. I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish, the you know this is called esporulación, which means that trees, um, let's say, release the seeds, and they have these little like like feathers that help the seeds to fly and then they just fly around the air and around the city and they may find a grass area you know like a natural like area and possibly a tree could grow um, when i was a kid i really found them so interesting oh yeah found them so interesting and every time i see one it just makes me so happy Butterflies. It's really, really hot. <laughs> I know I've been complaining a lot, but like, I really need to get to the hotel, take my boots or out of. Look, I'm wearing these the Dr. Martin boots and put some shorts on because it's really hot. <laughs> I'm wearing like black jeans and boots and yeah that makes me <laughs> um, really comfy but also I'm hot I didn't want to walk in sandals because last time I walked a lot wearing my sandals and my feet got so sore and yeah of course it was hurting a lot so I decided to wear boots even though it's hot There are some new buildings like this one. Um, I don't mind the facade, I kind of like it actually. It's very simple, but it looks okay. Yeah. Okay, now this is going to be the end of the first part of the video. I'm gonna cut it here because I'm gonna have to cross like this, this, and this to get to the other, the other side. And I don't wanna get hit by a car. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you in part two.